late nights, early mornings. The grind never stops. It's time to level up. Okay, guys, so I wanted to kind of bring you a little bit of uh, what we got going on here for the Pro Physique Transformation Challenge. So today is the 29th, and here, let me get this all squared away here. Uh, so today is the 29th, guys, so the uh, contest car just got uh, posted to the challenge group uh facebook group so we're able to print that out so you can we can upload our pictures up until the 8th um so they're just giving everybody time so i printed out my google calendar uh so i can show you guys kind of what um i have planned um, i already showed you my uh my notebook here um i have five phases that i do for my for my tra uh training um, I haven't written anything down because I'm going to kind of do it as I go because I'm going to be trying to switch it up, going to some different gyms. Um, my mom is actually having surgery uh, next month. So that's kind of going to put a little bit of a hindrance because I'm going to be helping her out. I do the heavy lifting for her and my dad. My dad is 90 years old. My mom is going to be 75 this year. <laughs> you know, they're both broke down. So I do the heavy lifting for them. I cut the grass, things like that, move heavy furniture and all of that good stuff. Um, so I'm going to be doing, um, you know, some home workouts and stuff like that, too. Uh, you know, um, so I'm probably going to have to invest a little bit and uh, some some more uh, equipment for the house. But that's all good. You know, it is what it is. Um, so so let me show you what I got going on here on my calendar. So. Monday, August 1st is the official first day of the Transformation Challenge, okay? So I'm probably going to upload my pictures there and just do my weigh-ins and my progress pictures and all of that good stuff. Um, and then I'll print out like my, my, my own competition cards that I have, you know, for Golds and for uh, the Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland, like I've been doing. Um, so this, this first week here, next week is actually going to be peak week for me for um, my Cali trip. You can see uh, it's already on my Google calendar. Like when I signed up, when I, when I booked the flight, it automatically put it on my calendar and all of that good stuff. So um, and then I put on here, like I, I put my own little note on here. The final day to upload day one pictures is on the 8th, all that good stuff. So, so this is peak week, uh, August 1st, you know, that week of August 1st is going to be peak week for me going to California. Okay. So that's the official first week of the challenge. The second week I'm going to be in California. So I already talked to my brother. Um, I'm going to be like, I told him, Hey, once we get off the plane, like take me to the grocery store. I want to get a couple things to have so that I can, um, stay on track. Um, one of the ways I'm going to stay on track, I'm going to, I'm going to pack my, my protein powder. Uh, this is the isolate, uh, the ISO 
ultra pure whey protein isolate from core nutritionals which is the uh which is pro physiques kind of like their their supplement line or whatever this is the chocolate decadence um i had this from the last challenge i'm going to be utilizing this and i'm also going to buy another one i also need to buy another uh pre-workout i'm going to take that with me to california so i can stay on track with that um because this is crunch time, guys. This is going to take me all the way up into the Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland. So August, um, I'm going to try to start out with a bang. Like normally I'll start out slow and then I try to ramp up at the end. This time I want to start out with a bang, start out hard, heavy, fast. And then at the, you know, the last four weeks going into the show, you know, four weeks out, you know, you kind of want to start tapering it off and things like that. But so, so going into September, I don't know why this is all smudged. I think when I printed, printed out my day one card. <laughs> um, so going into September, um, you know, my daughter's going to be back in school. She's learning how to drive now, things like that. So I, I have a lot of variables going into this challenge. Um, but the, the Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland is on uh, October um, 29th. The Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland is on October 29th, and the Transformation Challenge ends on the 30th. So that's this is like perfect timing for me, guys. So I kind of want to show you when I go out to Cali, like you know how I how how I'm gonna adjust for being you know on prep and being on vacation things like that you can still be on prep and be on vacation and be on vacation guys now i just got to make some smarter choices when we go out to eat and things like that because we're going to be going out to eat we're going to have some fun um and things like that so feeling really good guys so uh i will turn the camera around and give you some final thoughts all right guys so basically um i got everything laid out for the most part of what what I want to achieve for these next 12 weeks with the uh, Pro Physique Transformation Challenge. This is gonna take me right into the Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland on October 29th. Um, and so I really wanna give this my all, guys. Um, so I, I have some notes here. So if you see me looking down, I'm just I'm looking at my notes. Um, so the things that I'm gonna be doing, probably that, that I didn't do last year or probably even couldn't do because I just, I had so much going on. Uh, even at the start of this year, I had a lot going on. Now my hours have been reduced with my current job, my reg, my regular W2 work. Um, and now I'm, I'm branching off into my own thing, which is starting to take off. I actually have two new buildings that I'm going to be starting on the first as well, <laughs> or the week of the first. Um, but they know that I'm going to be on vacation the second week. So, you know, it's not a, it's not a problem, man. I think just communication is, uh, you know, is, is crucial. Um, so they're totally fine with it. You know, I just, I'm just going to adjust the billing and things like that. So, so anyway, guys, so I just wanted to go over a couple key points of what I'm going to be doing for the next 12 weeks to really dial it in. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, I think I mentioned it already. I'm going to do a weigh in on I guess I'm just gonna do it on Monday when I upload my pictures because that's the official day one start on August 1st. So I'll do my, my way in, get my pictures uploaded and everything like that um, to the Pro Physique website and all of that good stuff. So the things I'm gonna be doing here with nutrition, let's, let's start with nutrition. I'm gonna be going, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna follow the, the macros. Um, um, I never really follow macros. I just feel like it's super tedious and things like that, just counting everything and all of that good stuff. But a lot of the pros do it, you know, and they don't seem to have a problem with it. And a lot of them ac actually like recommend it. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to utilize macros. Um, they have a macro counter on the Pro Physique website um, that I'm going to utilize uh, once I do my weigh in and get my, get my 12 week, you know, 12 weeks out weight and everything like that. Gonna be going high protein, low carbs. Um, I'm gonna carb cycle. So that's one of the things that um, kind of worked for me as well back in the day was like four days low carb, you know, three days, uh, not necessarily high carb, but kind of moderate. And then one day 
like a high carb day or a refeed day, something like that. Um, water intake. I got my got my gallon jug right here. Uh, got to make sure I get a gallon of water in every day. That's that's crucial, guys. You know, it helps digest the food um, and things like that. It helps keep things moving as well. You know what I'm talking about. Um, so I really want to make sure that I'm staying on track with that. I'm also going to. Uh, I think I, I mentioned it in one of my videos. I think it was the last prep, I believe, or it might have been this earlier in this series. Um, my my sparkling water. Uh, gotta get gotta get on my sparkling water. Um, so I'll utilize a gallon a day, then plus one of those like 32 ounce uh, jugs of you know uh, or 32 ounce bottles of sparkling water to help get my meal down. I'll, I'll use it with that and things like that training my training split I, you guys you know i have my i have my notebook um i have five phases that i'm doing um so let's go over this right quick so phase one i'm going to be doing uh one bar one body part at a time so i'm going to do just say like one first day is chest and then the next day is arms which is two body parts but <laughs> overall it's like one one day for for one body group uh so chest one day arms uh the next day uh back the day after that like a total back day total shoulders and then legs and then a cardio only day and then like a rest day if i if i really need it but then the, the split starts over those are in two week phases guys okay so so once I'm done with phase one, then we're going on to phase two. Phase two is, um, well, with phase one, it's a lot of supersets, a lot of drop sets, things like that, just really fatiguing the muscle and all of that good stuff. Uh, phase two, uh, I'm going to be doing two body parts. So I'm going to do a traditional split pretty much. It's going to be chest and triceps, back and biceps, shoulders, then legs, then cardio, and then start that over. It's going to be a lot of heavy movements, like trying to increase the weight, things like that. Um, phase three is going to be a combination of phase one and two. Uh, phase four is going to be one body part at a time again, but trying to utilize as heavy weights as I can, because as the body weight starts coming down, you know, the, the weights kind of decrease and things like that. Um, phase five is going to be a combination of everything. Lighter weights, that should take me right into the show things like that so I got my I got my plan down last thing guys I'm gonna touch on is also um, I'm gonna do I saw somebody else do this and I and I figured I was gonna do it now this is the day one this is the day one card I actually copied this card and I just and I just crossed out the day on it right I just whited it out and I and I made copies of it so this is every day Okay, every day, I got every single day. So I'll just write the day, I'll just write the day on here. It's like day two, day three. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take progress pictures every single day and then I'm gonna do a, like a mashup at the end so you guys can see the progress over the next 12 weeks, every single day. Now I'm only gonna do like my weigh-ins and like post that to the website or whatever, just whenever they tell us to. Um, but it's just something I'm just trying to do something different and, um, you know, stay on track. Like I said, my mom is actually having surgery next month um, after I get back from California. So I'm going to be helping her out. So I'm going to be trying to do a lot of home workouts. I'm going to have to get a lot of um, extra equipment and things like that, um, you know, but I know how to adjust, you know, the workouts for, for the home. I, I did it in 2020. It wasn't it was no problem. Um you know, try to get as many um, at the gym workouts as I can at night and things like that when I'm when I'm when I leave, you know, the jobby job and all that good stuff. But I think I got I got my protocol down. I'm just ready to kill it. I'm ready to win, you know, and uh, I'm ready to win the Mr. and Mrs. Cleveland. You know, I got to redeem myself at that show, man. <laughs> that was my very first show. And uh, I can't wait to get back there, man. So I'm just hoping that everything kind of just works in my favor. You know, there's going to be bumps in the road. It's not going to be a smooth, steady, you know, thing. But 
is what it is, guys, man. So that's what I, you know, that's all I got for you guys, man. You know, please pray for me, man. And, and uh, you know, we're going to do this thing. And I can't wait to see you guys at the finish line, man. Let's do this. It's time to level up, baby. Your boy, Jay Dizzle. I love you. Nothing you can do about that. I'm out.